bubble gum. Oh, yeah. Hi guys, it's Sarah. I decided to make this video on empathy and self-awareness today because I have a new job now at the Multicamp. I work there four days a week for four hours. It's a great job. You get to get paid to play. <laughs> it's like the best job in the world. It's amazing. I love kids, as I've stated before. They're so cute. I work with six through ninth graders, so teenagers, like middle school. Okay, my camera just did something really weird because it's a butt. <laughs> so sorry if this looks like a different angle than it was before. It's just my camera is being stupid. So basically, this was my first day at the camp. And I have my own group of teens. I have mostly like kids going into ninth grade. They're mostly girls too. So I have my attendance board and I'm signing everyone in. All the girls seem to know each other. They all seem to be kind of more of the sporty popular type. And they all seem to be getting along. At a break point, we all sat down at the picnic tables and most of the girls in my group went over and played cards at a certain table and they were all having a fun time. But one of the girls, which this really made me do this video and it really sparked my attention. This girl, her name is Megan, and at my table, she decided to stay at the table I was sitting at, which nobody else was sitting at. Cause you know, I'm a counselor, I'm just there to observe. I didn't really want to play cards, cause cards is boring. So while all the other girls are over there, this girl sits just, you know, kind of looking down at the picnic table, not really engaging with the other kids. And I noticed that, I didn't say anything for a bit. I don't really know her that well, so I didn't really say anything. And she just has her phone out and I'm like, you know, I'm a counselor, so why don't I just talk to her? I'm the big person in charge here, so why don't I make the initiative? She seems shy. At the table, I started like asking her like her name, what grade she's going into, is she excited about going into high school this year, is she scared, like, you know, just getting to know her, all that kind of stuff. And when you talk to her, she seems pretty outgoing. I make her laugh a lot, which makes me really happy. We started talking a little bit more. I'm like, are any of these girls in our group your friends? Do you know them? And she's like, no, I don't know any of them. Like, I don't go to this camp really. I I was supposed to go to another camp in Greenfield or something. And I don't know any of these girls. You know, I tried to reassure her. I'm like, well, at the end of the camp, you know, it's a, it's a six week camp. At the end of the camp, you'll pro we'll probably all be a family and you'll get to know all these kids and we'll all get along. And she's like, yeah, hopefully. The reason why I bring this up, there's a point to this. This girl obviously did not have any friends at the camp. If I never talked to her, she would have been a girl to go home from camp and her mom would have said, Hey Megan, how was camp? And she would have been like, uh, you know, I didn't really have any friends. I didn't talk to anybody and you know, I'm shy, nobody came up to me, nobody talked to me, and, you know, I just don't really like camp. Like, I don't see the point of being at this camp. No one seems to like me, no one's talking to me. I would feel so sad if she went home and said that. I feel like the people who feel the most empathy are the ones who had to experience things in the past where they needed empathy the most. I'm a person who really can put themselves into other people's shoes and I can just sense when somebody needs somebody to talk to or if they need help. I related a lot to this girl. I've been to camps and I've been to schools where I didn't know anybody. I was way too shy to go up to people and talk to them. I was scared to go into social groups. I thought no one liked me. Like, I know there's nothing wrong with me. Because this girl's going into ninth grade, so obviously, you know, she still might have social group issues and a lack of confidence and self-esteem issues. There's nothing wrong with this girl. She's really pretty. She has a great laugh. She's into dance. She's into all that. But no one would have ever known that if they didn't talk to her. I've been in the same place. I've been places where I've had to go home and tell my mom, Mom, I do not want to be at this place. No one talks to me. I don't talk to them. And I just feel like I'm not going to make any friends. I feel so lonely. I feel alone. I feel ignored. I feel forgotten. So I have experienced this so much in the past, especially with elementary school, especially with middle school and a tad bit of high school. And then finally I asserted myself and I kind of got over that a little bit. I'm a lot better in terms of social interactiveness now, but it takes maturity. That's why I really felt for this girl who's going into ninth grade. I really could sense how she was feeling. I could sense her aloneness. I feel like I have so much empathy for people because in the past I've needed empathy from other people. I have been in situations and experiences where I have wished somebody would have come up to me and talked to me. I wouldn't care if it was a kid, a camper, or whatever, or even a counselor. I'm not saying I changed this person's life today, 
but I feel like I changed her day. I feel so gifted and happy when I know that I have made somebody's day happier and that I put a smile on their face and they just feel like they had a better time today because somebody talked to them. I feel like since I was that person that just asked her a few questions and gave her the time of day, showed her that she was important and that she wasn't ignored and that she mattered, I felt like with that, instead of her going home and telling her mom, hey, uh, I didn't talk to anybody today, no one really likes me, blah blah blah, instead, I bet you. She went home today and told her mom, you know what mom, I actually didn't have a bad experience at camp like I thought I would. You know, I didn't really know any, any of the kids, but guess what? I talked to this counselor named Sarah. We talked, she asked me about what my interests are, if I was scared of going to high school. Like she talked to me and she kept me company at the playground and she even opened up more opportunities for me to be acquainted with other kids. I feel like with this girl named Megan, I feel like she will be wanting to come back to camp just because I gave her the time of day and showed her that she can still be happy and laugh and smile even if none of the other kids are really talking to her and if, even if she doesn't have any friends. I have been there. I have experienced so much of that in my past of loneliness. So much loneliness that I have cried in the bathroom in ninth grade. I just feel like when you are self-aware and when you show empathy for other people and put yourself in those people's shoes, you really open yourself up and you really start to feel. Like, I don't want to make that sound cheesy or whatever, but I just felt like I changed this person's day and it's such a good feeling. What I said about opening up opportunities for her to be acquainted with other people, there's this other girl in my group named Allison and she would talk to me a little bit and because I sat at the table with Megan and, and I was talking to her a little bit, Allison and Megan weren't talking before. Allison would just come up to me and talk and just talk to me. But because I talked to Allison and Megan was around, that made Allison and Megan start talking more and more. And when I got up and left, Allison and Megan went and swam together on the swings and they were talking to each other. I feel like that would have never happened if I didn't start talking to Megan first or if I didn't talk to Allison. I feel like Megan was too scared to go up to anybody and talk to them and meet friends herself. She needed somebody like me to kind of push her to help her make a friend. I can totally relate to this too, because in the past, I was so afraid to make friends myself. How I gained friends was by having another person be friends with them first. I would make friends by other people having friends first. I would just talk to them because I knew people who were friends with them. It took another person for me to become friends with them. I feel like Allison and Megan became acquaintances and started talking because I opened up that door. I opened up that opportunity. If you got anything out of this video, it's to always be self-aware. Even if you have friends in your school, or in your camp, or wherever you are, just because you might have a lot of friends, take a second and maybe look around you and your surroundings. Check and see if anybody else is alone, sitting by themselves. I want you to include them. I don't know if you've ever been a person in the past who has ever felt like you were ignored, alone, lonely, no friends. The point is that me and a lot of other people in this world have felt that way. If you've never experienced feeling that way, you're so lucky. It sucks. If you never want to feel that because you know that that sucks, you should really make a point to just go out of your way and include that person that is alone because you could really change their day and I know people say this a ton and people say it in school assemblies and all that but it's really true I feel like I changed this girl's day I feel like she went home and said you know I, I want to go to camp now because I feel like I'm included I would I talked to somebody because I know that back then during camp if no campers talked to me but just the counselor did I would still feel like you know what even though no campers talked to me today, the counselor did, and I felt like I was involved. I felt like I was included, and that would make me feel happy on the inside. I would feel like I wasn't invisible, and that would just give me enough confidence just to go back another day and not feel miserable. Because this girl was literally miserable. She was like, oh yeah, two more hours of this camp. Like, she did not want to be there. She was so lonely and everything. I'm just so glad that I 
talked to her and included her made her feel like she wasn't invisible and another reason why I'm happy I did that it wasn't just for her sake it was for my sake I'm usually a person who's very shy like even talking to kids like I'll be like oh should I really talk to them like what if they don't want to talk to me I'm still at this place in my in my life where I get anxiety of just talking to people sometimes and it's really hard for me to make that first step to make that initiative but I did it you might not believe this but just from saying a few things to somebody and asking them questions you can really make a lifelong friend or an acquaintance or even if not that you could really just help their confidence and self-esteem I know that I've had a lot of confidence issues in the past because I've gone through experiences where I thought I wasn't good enough I thought well if I can't be friends with the popular kids if, if I if they don't talk to me then maybe I shouldn't have a lot of friends at all like maybe there is something wrong with me but I've got all that negative trash out of my head. I no longer think about that. If you're going into high school, it's all about maturity. Even though you feel a certain way right now about you maybe not having a lot of friends or you have self-esteem issues, it does get better. And I always hate using that. It's so overused, but it literally does. You gain so much more confidence and maturity as you go through high school and throughout life. It just takes going out of your comfort zone and it becomes so much easier as you go on. And I know since I've done talent shows and showcases in high school, I've gone out of my comfort zone. Things have been easier. I've made new friends because of it. I feel like I can do anything now because I've gone in front of the whole school and have done that. So it's all about being self-aware. Look around, look for people who need company or whatever. Don't just think of yourself. Like think of others and feel empathy. It won't just change your day and make you feel better about yourself, but it will change their day too. And I think that's the best feeling of all. So I hope you guys like this video. Give it a like subscribe. I make new videos whenever I want, whenever I can, and whenever it's most convenient. All my social media links are on my channel. You guys keep being you. Have a good day. Bye.